So tonight is our first date night in this city. Let me put you down on these steps. I feel like this background right now is so vibey. And I'm like less scared that people are gonna walk behind me and like I'm gonna embarrass myself with a vlog camera because I feel like less people care. Anyways, tonight is the first date night. I don't know, oh wait, yeah, I do know where we're going. We're going to Soho, which is one of my favorite parts of New York. Um, that's where I stayed when I went on my back. Hold on, one second. Okay, so tonight we're going on our first date night and we're going to this restaurant in Soho and it's my favorite part of New York. We're going to a place there called a pasta bar and I found it on Instagram. It looks so cute. It looks like the perfect little date night spot. So I'm excited for it. I'm like really feeling the productive vibes in New York. So I'm like, maybe I won't even have a glass of wine and I'll just be a routine queen waking up at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I'm going to get ready. I have an outfit that I have planned in my head and I think it's gonna pop and I think you're gonna live. So let's get into it. This is kind of gross, but ever since I got to the city, I haven't even went out and bought like bottles of water, I've been too lazy. But I just remember hearing that New York City water is like so good, and so clean, and they have one of the best water sources, blah, blah, blah. So your girl has been drinking out of the sink, girl. I love being like, oh, I'm in such a rush. I'm gonna do the quickest glam. I literally just did toner, moisturizer, serum, and primer. Like, for what? <laughs> oh my God, hot. I just got the hottest email. I'm kind of shameless with like reaching out to restaurants for comp dinners now because you know what? You could be like, oh, I'm shy. I don't wanna do that. Or you can lose, and every other smart bitch out there is reaching out to everybody, getting their dinners comped, and throwing some stories up on Instagram. So I've gotten some balls. And now I'm like reaching out anytime I go anywhere in like New York, and I'm like, yo, what's good? <laughs> like, hook it up. I just got an email from STK. Hey, come in for a chef's tasting. I'm like, you bet the fuck I will. I wish I was exaggerating, but this is probably the best foundation on the market right now. At least in my opinion, the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I don't know what they did because I already loved the one before, but this one really is it. I can link it. It's in the shade Vanuatu. I've been taking such cute pictures on this camera. It's my vlog camera. I mean, I have two vlog cameras, but this is like my quick on the go. Don't want to have my huge embarrassing setup like when I'm filming in public, which is what I'm filming this video on, but I have this one, which is my portable vlog camera that's like super chill and on this trip I started taking actual pictures with her and I just turn the flash on and use her as a point and shoot and the pictures that I'm getting are kind of bomb I mean you tell me here's some of them but I feel like they look cool and you take so many more pictures than if you had a phone Penny is so into the New York of it all I'm telling you he has, he has changed me what did you say yesterday when you were driving through the city you're like get the out of my way what are you doing or some shit like that yeah yeah he's a new yorker do we ever talk about the hamptons i don't even know what i've vlogged i just feel like i've been vlogging i feel like i've been vlogging this whole trip and i'm like i don't know what i've said or not said what do you think about the hamptons we were there for like three days yeah. or no wait sorry we were there for a day what did you think about the hamptons the hamptons yeah i feel like when you hear about a place so much before you get there you always build these expectations and then you kind of get there. I just thought it was like cool, but I didn't think it was anything crazy. It's like suburban. I don't know. What did you think of it? I thought it was cute. I just think you have to like do it right for it to be enjoyable. You have to like rent one of those yachts or go with like a rich friend. But it was yeah. cute. Like it was like shopping and it was cute. If you want to literally spend what, $150,000. <laughs> and rent a house for three months and then also get like boats and rent like it that's what it's there and for and live that life which i just that's 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 gonna be on you that's a tax bracket that we just don't yeah understand but like go off miss mr hamptons so are we taking the subway to dinner or what yeah if you hurry up i cannot believe how good kiss lashes are like who knew they must be america's best kids secret or something <laughs> party delight So I'm staying on the Upper East Side and it is such a quiet neighborhood, I mean, for New York. Like last night, we didn't hear a thing. It helps that I'm in an interior facing unit. I feel like every other time, 
But you do hear that, isn't it weird? Like somebody just flushed their toilet and that's their pipes. Um, but I feel like every other time I've stayed in New York, it's always loud, streets, busy, police sirens all day long, and here, nothing. The Anastasia brow list really is it. And this is nothing revolutionary. I know we've all heard of this a million times now, but I'm such a brow gel kind of bitch. And the Anastasia one really, in my opinion, is the best right now. I just can't with leaving it open and then this entire thing drying out and you have to buy a completely new one. That's my biggest complaint with this. So if you're like responsible, go off. And this is for you. But if you're a hot mess like me, maybe try <laughs> the Benefit Brow Gel because that's my second favorite. Like that brow, you gotta be kidding. That is so good. Oh, just get a load and then they got chemistry. Or you could say they're like brother and sister. Look so good together. Let's get dressed. Eight, eight, eight. I love this apartment because the kitchen and the living areas are all up here with the balconies, whatever. And then you have to take this long ass stairway and that's where the rooms are. So like that's where I'm gonna get dressed and that's where I would be sleeping and all that stuff. Cause it adds such a separation to the space. Like I'm sure this place is not a lot of square feet, but it feels massive because of the huge Separation. Okay, what the fuck am I gonna wear tonight? I have the lighting down here being ass. Bear with me, y'all. Okay, this light is just gonna be hot mess express. Oh god, you're gonna unsubscribe if I keep filming in this light. Oh no, there we go. I hope you're happy. <laughs> Please stay. I made it better. So this is how I've been having to start packing my outfits because I'm a little dumb with anything in regards to staying organized with travel. Like my brain just cannot. So I've had to start packing my outfits like stapled to each other. So like these are the jeans and then stapled to it is a Ziploc with the accessories. Ziploc? Yes. Cause like it's so bad that if I don't do this, like I'm gonna lose so much or it'll take me 50,000 hours to get ready. So this has been great <laughs> and helpful. And I think for my fit tonight. Oh, this outfit. This outfit makes me feel like Bella motherfucking Hadid. Let's go. Okay, this outfit gives me so much New York City it girl energy and it also makes me feel like Bella Hadid, and I've been looking forward to wearing her. So, here she is. So I'm gonna wear this black, long, silky skirt with this white trim. I'm obsessed with this length of skirt and a silk material. I feel like the old me would have been scared to wear something like this because I would have felt like it would make me look like a mom. But now these are like the sexiest, hottest things. You just have to know like how to wear them. This is from ASOS, so I'll link this for you if I can find it. And I'm gonna pair it with this like long shirt that's gonna go over and these vintage Christian Dior pointy toe boots with some accessories. It's giving Bella. Okay, how cute are these little dangle earrings? What do we think? You gotta give it to me. This is everything. Maybe not this angle. This is a quick little fit check before we go. You can't tell me this outfit isn't everything. Oh, I'm like obsessed with it. genius idea to take the subway and we missed an exit and all of a sudden I'm like honey are we going over the water we start going over the water over the bridge and we were like Fuck. but it only added an extra like 35 minutes to our voyage but now we're in Soho okay headed to the restaurant finally Ugh. we thwarted we finally get to the restaurant and she starts freaking out she's like you don't get it I need a moment I'm like oh okay She fully cried when we pulled up. Oh, let me tell you something. Soho is my favorite part of New York. Oh, this is the cab that 
So I'm like, maybe I won't even have a glass of wine. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. But just don't hype him up so much because then he gets in his feels. Don't hype me up. There he is. Ew, him and his boy are both there. Oh! <gasps> it looks like it weighs like a couple ounces and it's a fing fly. Hey, drop there. down and get your eagle on. He won't go to bed until he gets him too, so it's like. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Ew, why is he so big? That's a dog. Oh! oh! <laughs> Let me see. Ew. I just needed a chance. That's all I needed. Just give me the opportunity and I got him zapping right by me. I said, ooh, you. Boy, you made a mistake. <laughs> it's New York. Start ringing the news. <laughs> Because we could keep them in our fridge because we have no food at home, so we could just have a little snack at the crib, you know? Oh, I'm going to do the red velvet. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. A classic, but it's so good. 